What is going on guys? Today we are looking at the Milestone Pastore. We are a little bit late to the party, but we did get him done. It took a little bit actually to get him done, but we have got the 89 rated cam and honestly he looks absolutely fantastic. So if you was kind of like in the debate of whether to do this card or not, I will tell you 100% do this card. He looks absolutely fantastic. Four star, four star, high low work rates with the right foot. He is six foot two and there is multiple chem styles that you can whack on him. There is people that do want a hunter on him. It will turn that pace into 94 and then you'll get, I think, how much shooting? You'll get 93 shooting, turn him into a 91 rated cam. But today I'm interested to try him out as an engine. It will turn him into a 93 rated cam with 89 pace, 95 passing and 96 dribbling. As we can see already, a lot of the stats are pretty up there. We've got relatively okay physicals. They're, they're about average at best. But dribbling looks absolutely amazing. Obviously, with the engine as well, you'll end up with 92 agility, 92 balance, which we will add right now. Um, you'll also end up with 99 dribbling. You'll have still 90, well, 90 composure. Um, and then you'll also have 95 ball control and 80 reaction. So he looks like he should be a very, very nice card. He is 6'2", though. So I'm very interested to see how agile he is because he is he is relatively a lean type of player uh passing wise looks phenomenal we'll end up with 99 short 90 long 99 curve 97 vision 94 crossing and 80 free kick accuracy and then as you can see in the shooting that will stay the same with 88 attacking position with 83 finishing 93 shot power and 88 long shots so straight off the bat uh, flair and injury prone in terms of traits, nothing too amazing there. And then the defending is, again, pretty average. So anyway, let's just jump straight into him. I, I want to see what this guy's all about. Into Pastore for the first touch. This guy seems pretty, pretty good, to be honest. See what we can do again. Back into Pastore. Can we find that little ball over to Cantona? Tries to get the header. Into Pastore. Oh, Varane with the beautiful interception. And then he's just gone and got the penalty. You literally could not write it. He takes the ball away from Pastore. Literally just as I'm pressing B. And then he decides to slide when De Bruyne is always getting that. We're going to go for a little Mr. Dink. As Nanik would love to see it. Oh, Penenka City, boys. Pastore again. See what he's like bringing the ball forward. See a cracking ball over to De Bruyne. Yes, Walker, I suppose. He's, this guy genuinely has a very, very nice team. It's well-rounded completely. Eto, Beckham, Mendy. Um, I'm trying to figure who else. He's got Felix, player of the month. Some really, really good players that are just working very well. Seedorf is the one that I'm thinking, like, he's got such a top team. And then Seedorf just doesn't really do it for me. I may be wrong. I may be eating them words soon. Into Pastore. Oh, Varane again. We're going to find him again. Can we get the flick? Oh, he does. Oh, it's into Stoichkov. Oh, and Cantona is going to get the EAS goal I've ever seen. Find Pastore on the edge of the box. Going to go for that drilled shot. Courtois with a save. Very interesting already to see him. I feel like just even from being a free card, he just should should be nice to just have in the team. Um, obviously, in terms of the objective, it's all very... Uh, oh, we're going to try the free kick with him, actually. It is all very similar. 15 wins, 30 goals, 15, I think, assists. Then you've got the four finesse shots, six through balls. Should be all pretty standard by now. Um, it just takes a few games. That's all about it, really. We've got a 24-yarder. What are we saying? Little dink, little dink. Ooh, okay. There's a there's something there. There's definitely something that you can go with them free kicks. I feel like power is kind of more his place to be. Uh, but personally, I'm not like the not the real greatest at the power free kick yet in terms of how you actually do them properly. I can just put a straight one in the back of the net, but unfortunately, as soon as you put someone on the line, that's it. Well, where are we going with him? Lacroqueta. Lovely little. Oh, he does. Oh, referee. That's got to be another free kick. There's no way. That is obstruction, referee. Pastore. Ah, oh, offside goal. Into Pastore. Heel to heel. Turns with his left foot. Rolls it. Oh, nearly there. Four star, four star. Yeah, right. Going to find him again. Little Berber spin inside. And it's always got to be the finesse. That is beautiful stuff. 
I did think he was going to be a little bit more stocky just because he is 6'2". Obviously, he's got very high agility balance and especially with an, with a, an engine, does turn him into 92, which is very, very nice. But I still thought that you got to find that little bit of clunkiness still. At the moment, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying the kind of... Uh, not necessarily the most agile player in the world, but someone who is quite tall, but still got that little bit about him to be able to turn quite quickly. Pastore is going to find in Cantona. Over the keeper. Just love to see it. Get him on the defensive duty. Jockey and players, you love to see him. He's a very all-round sort of player. Obviously, defending-wise, he's not going to be the, the greatest, but he still can put a shift in to put a body in front of the ball. Lovely work from Pastore. Gets round him. I'm going to find that one, two. Finally found the two. Little ball roll. Lovely. And straight across goal. That's always a goal. Very basic stuff. Obviously, I'm not showcasing the, the highest level of skills going. Um, but I feel like he's got the opportunity to do it. Um, and I feel like he's, he's very capable of executing them quite well. He is a big player as well. That's one thing you've got to remember is... It's somewhat, I don't know what it is with small players, but obviously with being quite big, there's more of him. That's a cracking ball. Oh, but he's just tried to lever it straight in front of me. Very obvious. But I feel like when there's like a six foot two player, there is a lot more to kind of grab onto in terms of his, just his overall body. So I feel like he gets tangled up in players quite easily compared to someone like an Alessandro Gomez. Pastore is going to be running through. Oh, he's just let him through. Oh, he's faked it. Oh, literally trying to go around. Oh, he's got the ball back. He's got the ball back. He's going to try the tackle. Ah, no, he's gone too far. Done the run around. Oh, and again, he's he's just not reacted quick enough and he's managed to get that tackle. Oh, we've let Pastore run too much. We see him there. He's going to turn it, though. Go with the opposite way. Lovely. Ball roll. Into the finesse. Oh, that's a cracking knee save from Courtois there. I think depending on how actually you want to use Pastore in terms of maybe an assisting cam, a scoring cam, will kind of depend on what you want to actually do in terms of chem style. I feel like if you wanted him more as a scoring cam, you definitely need that Hunter. I feel like the finishing, not necessarily is poor, but because it's quite low in comparison, you definitely want to be getting that up just because the kind of passing, dribbling and everything is already at a level. You want to get that finishing up as high as you can. And there we go with a finesse. Still poor, very in front of the in front of the player there, unluckily. But then if you want someone who's kind of just more assisting, then you want something like an engine just to be able to make passes like that. Makes it look so much easier, and, and that's kind of like the way it is with him. He can either be a pretty nice scorer, to be honest. I feel like Hunter will definitely do him the justice with 90-plus shooting. But then assisting-wise, it's fantastic as well. Both dribbling and passing are pretty up in the top levels there. And even just the dribbling side of him, like, it's all very, very nice. Obviously, it's all little minute stuff. Wow, that would have gone in as well. Jeez. Oh, this has got to be an easy one. Dig across the key. Oh, keeper's not come out. Pastore with a massive overhead there he was trying. Big six foot two player trying the overhead. It reminds me of the Crouchy days. So then if we are looking at Pastore, obviously the value is zero. And I didn't know Footbin had the feature that they have the objectives right here, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously score 30 goals, assist 20 goals, assist with a through ball in four separate matches with a Serie A player. And score a finesse goal using a Serie A player in six separate matches. All very, 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 very standard to be honest. You do need to have 11 Serie A players in your starting lineup. It is the same as everything else. Nothing has changed. It's in managerial masterpiece. And definitely this guy is worth the look at. 89 rated. I believe the highest rated milestone we've had. And he is a very, very good one. I think before this, my favorite was definitely Millet. He was a cracking cam as well. And Pastore definitely puts him in that spotlight as well. Um, in terms of all the others as well, you've got some really good like Bellerin. You've got uh, Ruben Neves, who was actually really good. Some decent cards that you can actually get. In terms of generations for this guy then, obviously he was a PSG player way back when. Um, literally from FIFA 11, we got a first team in the season in 15. A couple of informs in what 17 18 and a path to glory and since then not really anything for roma other than this year an 89 rated absolutely happy with it if you do look at the Serie A as well 
in terms of kind of like camp, because what you got to remember is this guy is totally free. There is literally just game time. That's all you've got to put in. To be honest, with the rage quits that you can get, it really doesn't take that long if you really put some hours into it. I'd probably say, I'd say maximum two hours of pure focus. If you are doing bit and bob, it can take a little bit longer. But if you do just put every bit of focus into that one, two hours and you should get him done quite easily. Three hours being a real push, but that's if you're coming up against some really good opponents. And then if you look at the likes of like Tonali, who was an objective, you then look at, um, I'm trying to think of who else is quite cheap and an objective feel like they were like the best two objectives you've got but then you look at someone like lucas Leva, you look at someone like kessie you've got a very very strong midfield there there is literally nothing wrong with that midfield as a kessie tonale pastore kind of partnership would be quite nice he definitely is a cam and like i said in the review if you want him as a shooting cam someone who's going to be scoring goals I would highly recommend the Hunter. If you're looking for someone who's going to assist, someone who's not necessarily going to going to shoot a lot, but may have the, the kind of like overall pop shot every now and then, I would be going with that engine because that passing and dribbling is absolutely exquisite. In terms of him being six foot two and agile, I felt like he was quicker than I expected. I didn't think that he was bulky as much. Definitely could get the ball around. Some nice skills being used. Obviously very basic on my half, but that is personally... Uh, player player in, inputted basically so he's not going to do skills on his own unfortunately for me but overall i feel like he's a nice card i would give him if i was to kind of rate him out of everybody i'd give him a solid nine out of ten i feel like i'm being a bit generous but i feel like being free being a nice card in the Serie a a nine out of ten would definitely do him justice and i hope that they bring out a third variation to these maybe like a 91 92 i feel like these are really good these are something enjoyable to do we kind of know what they're going to be doing as well and it's just an overall just a little bit of a, a fun thing to get a nice 89 rated card in the club even if you really 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 don't want to use him he's a free 89 rated card to put into an sbc for you so i feel like it's a hands down definite to do let me know down below what you think about pastore make sure like and subscribe that's it for the next one pieces